Let me just tell you some of the, the factors, though, that are, are much different from working at NASA. I still remember we had one standing meeting a week, and that's it. One, okay. And that one standing meeting was at 11 o'clock on Wednesdays, and that was deliberate, so it was only an hour long because everyone wanted to go to lunch. And that was it. And so, so other than that, okay, all the work got done by people meeting impromptu. So if you're working on something and you need some information, okay, and they have kind of a bullpen structure where the engineers are, um, you get used to, you know, okay, I need to talk to Johnny or whoever. Stand up, you know, from your desk and look, is Johnny at his desk? Okay, if so, you go over and have a discussion with him. And if that solves your problem, you're, you're done, you can back to your desk. Now, if you need somebody else, you need Frank, well, you look, is Frank nearby? So you have these impromptu meetings happening all the time. And what that does is it really cuts down on wasted time. That was actually, again, an interesting thing to see. And, and at first, it's, again, it's a little bit off-putting because you're in this big bullpen. There's a, a lot of discussion, a lot of activity. You have a lot of people with those noise-canceling earphones on, right, so they can they can concentrate. But then you see how efficient it is as far as getting information and uh, moving information around and the impromptu nature of, okay, just the people who need to be involved in the discussion are involved, and then they go back. And the other part, which, again, this is by design, is that the engineers are literally right next door to all the shops. And, again, that wasn't an accident. That's how Elon wanted to design uh, his, his factory so that the engineers were in the the lab in the in the workshop working with the techs okay and they spend a large portion of their time you know in in the various shops okay so that that really hastens the communication between different ideas because uh, the engineers will have an idea well maybe we can do this or that and of course you sit down with the techs and they all laugh and say no you can't do that you have to <laughs> you have to change this and have to change this that's again part of that collaborative environment where you have all um, levels of the people involved in the design and then fabrication and implementation of the design, there's communication channels. So you very quickly communicate what works or what doesn't work or if there's a problem with what the, what the engineers have thought was a good solution <laughs> or if the techs have a better idea of how to accomplish certain tasks. So there's really a, a lot of, of impromptu interplay. I guess that's the key. So not large meetings but very small, one-on-one, -on -one, two, three people type interactions. That's how most people spend their day there.